Welcome back to our Scala class and today we will look at some more recipes for working these files, how to read some uh, directories, maybe do some file processing, getting some stats about uh, files. And let's proceed with uh, how to list files in a directory. Again, thanks to our Scala cookbook by Alvin and we will see this example. So again, I'll keep modifying my utilities and I'll modify this example slightly, maybe make it slightly more useful. So it turns out that Scala, at least this was a time of writing, was in 21 year ago, uh, that source which we've been using, right, there's no, uh, we want to get a list of directories, right? We, you know, meaning what, what kind of files we have in a folder, right? That'd be useful. For example, here, right, I have what I would like to see what I have already, what kind of goodies I have so far. Well, so we'll use this recipe and we will slightly modify. So what we need is actually, we need the Java file class. And again, as I mentioned before, in Scala, we can use the whole, the thousands of different libraries provided by Java. And of course we can use our Scala specific ones. So we get the best of both worlds, right? So we can use this ability and uh, let's see how this works. So that's a method. Right, but I would like to modify this a little bit. First of all, there's a lot of red red text. This means I need to import. So what do I need? Again, I have a, a, this package file, Scala system process internal file, probably not what we need. We need this, right? So that's what we need. So this will give us a list of directory of files in a specific directory. And let's see how that works, right? Um, getting some files in directory, right? We had the reading web page, so I'll make a new Let's call a class and they 18 uh, reading and directories, right? Uh, of course, an object, right? Again, add extends app, right? Um, and I will do maybe um, and this source, the val source, right? Source will be uh, source resources, right? On Right, we want to read what we have there, right? So I have my files, right? Uh, files, right, will be util dot get list of files, right? So easy, right? And I do source, and let's see, this is what? Should be a string, right? A, a list of strings. Again, we could make an array, but it doesn't matter, right? This is a small list, right? So this actually returns a list by definition. Again, it's a, it's a type of sequence, right? So we can do things like uh, files uh, print line or maybe files for each print line, right? Let's see if that works, right? For each print line, right? We could also make string if you wanted, right? So let's see if this actually does work or not, right? And we see all the files we have. And, oh, well, I run the old, well, I actually downloaded the book again. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. I, I run that one from a web page or previous one. I want this one here, right? So reading directories. <laughs> right, looks like nice. We have all these nice text files. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Uh, so six files. Nice. So we have these. That's the way of reading our file directory. So then we can, of course, use uh, this to read a specific file, right? We can use that. Uh, to read a specific file but okay so this is a good start right and of course i'm going to give a shoot shoot out to our our friend but i would like to modify this a little bit more again i'm not satisfied with this i think we can do better right i mean this is a good start right so we can do slightly slightly better with adding some extra features right so adapt adopted from this part here right so adopted from adopted from uh, here right i'll add it maybe here but uh, somewhere here right adopted from right resource again but i would like to modify this a little bit more so what i would like to do is i'll add a, a regular expression to actually look for uh, uh files and see see first of all i'm going to check right if this is if this exists right i'm going to actually filter right and i'm going to check uh, uh basically uh, uh check uh, we here we just basically filter is file that's only thing I need right but I'm also gonna do add a regex right so I'll do something like this so what's the regex regular expression again we'll do more reg we'll keep working with regex so regular expression but I'll do something by default I will do string 
and I will do it like this. So dot and star meaning I want at least one character in my file name. This is by definition. So uh, if you don't enter anything, it look it will get you all the files, right? Dot star, right? It means actually you want to have all the files. That doesn't mean dot. That actually means a, a single character, anything in regular expression language. Okay. So and uh, we are gonna add this, right? I'm gonna copy this. Uh, uh, control D and basically, right, uh, I will make it uh, to list. And uh, so, filter is file, right? And I'm gonna add an extra, extra condition, right? Again, something like this. And file, but I need, of course, I need to modify this a little bit. So, because this is, uh, we can't reuse this multiple times, right? I only get to use it once, but I need to use it twice. So, what I need to do. I need to control Z first, right? Control Z, control Z. I'll need to rewrite this to more generic type. So meaning file dot, right? And this is file is file. So we are back to this, right? This works, same thing. It's exactly the same thing. However, I would like to make it more, uh, this extra. So now I can do also more filters, right? File, get name, right? Matches my regex, right? So this is a regex match, so meaning my name of this file matches this particular, not, not the full thing, right? But matches this part here. So get name will get me just the name, right? Just the last name of the past names, name sequence. So meaning we don't get all of this here, right? But we'll get, we are only going to check, it, check this part. Of course, I could have also checked the full pass if I want. I mean, that's up to you if you want to make this kind of function. For me, this is, a, I think, is a good start, good compromise, right? So this is returns nothing. We return an empty list of files. Um, uh, well, if nothing is found, right? If nothing is found, right? So, looks pretty good now already, right? So, regex, we empty. So, let me start this. Um, so, sorry. Yeah, like this, right? So, directory, right? Pass. Uh, listing pass. Oops, all right. And this is, of course, uh, uh, match to filter match to filter by the file is have all files of length one or more right of length of, of name of name length one or more right and return do we return anything return list of files returns list of files right files. okay right adopted from again i'll make this here right and I think this is pretty, pretty decent now, right? List. Get a list of files, right? Okay, so this is nice documentation, right? Okay, so let's see how that works. Well, uh, can I do, uh, so let's test if this anything changed. That's a good for mark of a good program would be if I don't break anything. Let's hope I didn't break anything. Let's do it again, right? I save this, right? Let's compile it again and run it. Do we get anything? Yeah, looks good. So, can I get some filters? Well, I can do woods with a text, right? Let's do that. So, let's do that, for example, wood files, right? Of course, I could also do it the filtering afterwards, right? But I'll do it immediately. So, woods files, right, will be utility, get list of files. And I do source, of course, same map, right? Get list of files. Oh, why doesn't, why doesn't why did I make a mistake? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, that's the thing. Oh, with the capital. Okay. Right. And, of course, this is, again, this, this would be the same thing, but I want to add a regex. Right? So, regex, right? And I will do something like wood, right? Text, right? Something like this, right? I add a, so this is actually a wildcard, right? And a dot, well, that actually will work as well, right? So, it should work pretty well, right? In fact, I don't even need a dot, right? I'm saying... I want any files which have a, uh, I'm saying, I want any files which has woods, start with woods, right? Has something, whatever inside and ends with a dot, with a text, right? So, uh, Doyle and Christie stopping by to roads, those should not be, but these should be apparent, right? So, let's do that. So, woods files, woods files for each, right? Print line. Let's see if it actually does the work. Uh, and well, I didn't read. It looks like my my regex didn't work. Looks like I didn't get anything out, right? 
Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. It looks like it got nothing. Well, looks like my regex is not that good actually. Maybe it was not really. I mean, maybe I need a dot maybe here. Let's check. Right woods. And uh, let's see again. No, it, it did work. Woods dot. It looks like the star didn't work, interestingly enough, right? Uh, so just the woods, please. Not the woods files, please, right? So this didn't quite work. So we need to fix this a little bit, the regex, right? And the thing is, of course, yeah, only got the one. So interestingly enough, the star seems to work as actually uh, worked exactly. But why didn't match this part here? Here, that's a very good question, right? Uh, this woods are right because it's well, it's certainly, uh, certainly the star, right? It's it, this means more than one match, right? So let's check our regex explorer again. This is something if you don't do this every day, you might need to do uh, regex 101 site, which is a good good to build some regex. And I will do a Java version, right? There's different languages, but basically. It's its own language. And let's check why this didn't work. Uh, so I will add these here, All right? And maybe my language something is not quite. So here are my strings, and I would like to check uh, uh, maybe text, right? Well, no. What, what didn't like this, my pattern? Okay, so text, right, this is a match, right, uh, so dot, dot match anything, so why didn't my star work, I, I know I used star before, maybe it was not, uh, let me see, all tokens, so dot, where is my dot, so was it a, right, explains, so this is a nice, so zero or more, right, so maybe I needed this. Ah, this is a full, full uh, match basically. So I could do starts with woods. Maybe let's try this here. Let's see if I can do this. Can I do this? Let's see what happens then if I do with woods. And I get nothing. Huh? Interesting. Why it didn't work? Uh, that would be actually not something I need to debug here to match is regex, right? This is a regex match, right? So basically checking through if this name matches regex, right? So interestingly enough, it's not so it's a file and it gets a name, right? Matches regex and it works, right? But of course see uh, Maybe this is not again. This works fine, right? This works for everything But why my star doesn't work? What happens if I enter enter the uh, just the star, right? Or maybe I can enter D, right? D star. Let's see. It should have worked, right? Mm. Let's see. And then dot. No. Hmm. Ah, I mean, I think it's because I built it, so it has to have this inside, right? Ah. Ah, here we go. Dot. That's that's just the angst extra. Yeah, it doesn't work properly. What I wanted. I don't know why I'm not really. We'll need to pick it up. Maybe say something matches, right? Let's see, could it be? Let's see what happens here. No. How about this? No, it's not picking up. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll need to fix the regex matcher, but again, it's a little bit, that's part of another lecture, basically. Yeah, but I want to get back to the uh, to the actual file processing, right? So there's this extra functionality. Uh, well, we'll need some fixing maybe later on, but I want to get to some extra utilities, right? So we have get list of files, right? Um, let's do one more, maybe uh, define 
is file there, right? Is there actually a file, right? So file string, uh, let's do something like uh, string boolean uh, on, let's check if a file is there, right? So that's like something might be useful, right? Is there actually a file, right? Um, it's not really that hard to do, right? You need something like pass, I think it's pass, right? Get file pass. And of course, this also comes from Java, right? And file pass, uh, file string, I guess, right? File pass, and called file pass. Right? And of course, uh, uh, basically, uh, I'll do use files exists pass, right? Something like this. Okay, and files is also from Java. So what do we have now? Let's check. Mm, so files pass, file, right? New IO, and this I think is the older one, right? So we have file and files, right? So this is a nice library to check if things exist. So this is a, something to check if file is there already. Right, okay. And again, so file pass, return boolean true or false whether whether file exists right yes the location right pretty simple location so we can check right let's check like this utility right fix me i'll add this to fix me fix me regex right something here i should of course again do this part here and utilities and we'll add something to fix be fixed later right and uh, let's check is a file there so we'll check um, of course um, files um, uh, let's do uh, print line yes. is <laughs> is uh, let's check <laughs> is files let's say zero head right there um, and of course it should be true obviously right so we'll do utility uh, is file there and of course that should be files head right okay and start right and what's my problem here is that i have not closed the uh, ah is file there files head right it's that's good uh, is file there out of string i think i can do the string i guess right to string make string oh to string i believe i need to string yeah to string okay yeah all right so this is from java so let's see if this works yes it is there okay so the first file is there obviously right but it's still better make sure on not a real file right not the real file not not the file not the file right and let's check right and of course i need to you know uh, bad file bad file pass not the file not the file all right let's check this right is there it should be false right let's check this the function right and of course it's not in the parentheses right like this okay and we get here right okay and it should be file it should be false right it's false right so we checked of course of course why because we go to our project right we go down here right there's not such thing as not the file in here right it will be here right but if i checked for example uh file read me right read read me pass right equals of course uh read me read me me md right uh right it actually will be there because well it should be there at least right we are checking the main directory right so uh, op control z on this part as well okay now uh, let's see if this works 
it's true yeah so readme is there okay that works all right uh, now let's check a couple more utilities if you want to get some uh, to get some statistics about files right so uh, let's see uh, about let's add some more few more utilities let's get a, a character count right so def how would you get a character count from a file well uh, well uh, uh, we can do uh, let's see uh, and we have a, a list of lines for example let's get character character count right of course if we had from uh, so we'll have lines and we have an array of strings right if we had just a text of course it's just simply length so how would they get a array of strings right well how would we do it and we also have a well mm, new line right a new line will be by default will be a string that which is a new line of course right new line right and what do we do well we're gonna return an integer right integer right and i can return of course lines and well i need to make a string out of lines right and i'm gonna do new line which means i am going to concatenate all the lines back and then i'm gonna count it and return the length right simple so this returns you know we build up a string and it turns length and return its length this might be useful for you if you want to get some statistics for the uh, lines right if you have some lines right and again i'll use this to some statistics okay something to fix later okay and let's do one more maybe uh, let's see something more interesting uh, let's see how many words we have in a line let's do we have time uh, yeah we have time well not maybe not enough but uh let's so we, before we go to the or exercise and uh, let's do one more so this will be something you can use so get um word count per line right and what do we want to do lines um, let's see array of string right so array of string that will be coming in but we would like to get uh, some uh, uh, some um, lines uh, uh, basically clean them up right and we'll use a separator right what defines a line right we, of course what defines words right we want to, of course have string and we'll use a Again, let's see how regex works. I'll use this again. Remember, this is special regex for defines. This is a regex for um, uh, at least one white space, right? And it will be we're going to return array of integers, right? Array of integers, right? Something like this. Let's see how this works. Okay. Now, uh, so uh, it will be right. Well, words lines, right? Equals what? Uh, lines uh, lines and for each line we are going to map it to split by separator so basically right this is going to be an, a list of array of array of strings so we have a, so now so we get a, an array of array of words right words per line each so each line gets its own uh, word list or word array right and now we can actually get the uh, how many words are in line so this is of course easy while words per line will be what uh, words lines map and we want of course length right so i think we can even i think we can even skip this part here i think we can do even this right no not no i can't do it like this but we can do this right so and we can return it basically words per line and now we have a signature right this looks pretty good right so return return more count for each line and let's see how that works in practice right so again uh, we assume we have an array of strings we're going to split them we're going to split each line we split each line splitting each line Right. For each line we have, we split it, and we, so we return instead of array of strings, we have array of array of, of words, right? And then we basically map it to the lengths, and we get the words per line. It could be nice statistics, maybe, right? So, uh, well, let's do that, and let's see. Mm. 
let's see maybe you can use this also in your exercise so first let's check right so we will go to do this uh, stopping by so let's use it in our link directories right oh, and let's get some stack stats so uh, which one we're going to use the y files head right let's do that one right so um well word count right uh, word count per line will be what uh, so um, you feel get word count per line but we need of course get lines right so we need of course lines right of all lines and we need of course so equals what get utility get uh, lines from file right that works right and we have source we'll do files head right we'll do the first one right yeah ah and this actually is what we want uh, string ah and this is make string right to string right this actually is right files head to string why do i need this because this is a special special or, or special type okay so um, until we get word count per line and of course we're gonna feed it lines right so this will work right and this is gonna be our integer well maybe we can get some statistics right so let's see we can say total well, total words um, print line yes total words in files head again so this of course could, could make the string again so total words in here are words in files head string are what do you think well we're going to do this word count per line and sum right we can sum it basically right on this oh it would be nice to actually well I'll, I'll save it right word count word count will be this part here right and we would like to be average right well uh, can we do get an average uh, so uh, per line we can right because we know so average average word count is of course average average count is equals of course how many lines right we have uh, so uh, uh, per line right we can do this basically so word count uh, no wait uh, let's see uh, yeah we have word count word count divided word count divided by what um, um, lines right so lines length right and what do we have integer it looks okay uh, can we do this to as a, a double I wonder right it's probably double would be better right maybe it's print double let's see print line average word count word count word count in each line is of count right let's see right let's see if this works again no guarantees maybe this will need to fix this seven seven point oh right so total words fifty eight thousand words right that looks good how many lines right we have lines length right that looks about right but uh, seven well, looks a little bit suspicious right so we probably want to do this something silly what i like well we can do times 1.0 right that's a silly silly joke but i mean silly example but this works actually right because basically i want to double right this is double now right let's see now it should be slightly different yes okay so we can round right so rounded rounded count will be of course utility round where do we have round we used to have round get my round and write my round i'll have uh, average count right and i want precision too again so we keep building up on on this uh, round count right rounded sorry rounded count okay so that is all very well and nice right yeah seven to eight that's much better right you agree i hope right so uh, we have some stats so your exercise for today i will make a new file for this right so um, 
we're almost running out of time right quite a bit of material today yes so um, main mm, uh, new file new score class day 18 uh, file file stats exercise right. object add right so uh, you do download a text file of your choosing from Gutenberg Gutenberg org right download and save download and save a text file right again you can use it again you can use many filters right of course right and get stats right and get uh, get line count get word count get average word count in right so get character count as well get character count get character count right basically right you know including white space including white space here including white space right uh, of course if you know right bonus bonus for many non-white space i mean this will be something for extra right so right and get average word count uh, in each text line okay so i think um, uh, what's more interesting is on see some stats right so you can use you can use you you can use the util functions or maybe add some of your own if you want right if you want to add something you own one thing that i thought of is that i keep remaking this is um, this part here right it turns a list of files spe specific file it's a abstract representation of files so you need to make it to string if you want remember i had to make it multiple times to string that's the only thing was maybe a little bit painful here right i had to keep doing it here to string right because i had to convert this name this this is actually a file right and so this files is a, it's a list of file objects right so you need to keep make string perhaps right okay but otherwise i think this is quite doable so i will save this on um hope we will see some interesting interesting text downloaded and maybe analyzed all right thank you